Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This, of course, the Estadio José Alvalade, the slick, modern home of Sporting Lisbon since 2003. Every game here, a spectacle. And the lineup's suggestion that it's going to be a 3-4-3 formation. Yeah, Peter, and I would say that this setup is probably mostly geared to the front three. I think keeping them busy with chances is obviously a responsibility for everyone else in the team, so the midfield four in particular are, are keen to get on the front foot and play their part. The back three have just got to get on with it, and at times they are left a little exposed. And that gets things running. Pablo Sarabia. from immediate danger that's the throw and it's Pablo Sarabia tries to get it clear it upfield oh good interception forward pass looking to get within range oh, it's a foul it could be a penalty no the referees judged that the offense took place outside the area well it was deliberate it was cynical and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity but it had to be done sporting with a set piece chance Well, he probably expected to do a lot better considering the position he was in. Played out to the right. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And no surprise, that's a booking players protesting furiously but there's little or no sympathy from the ref <laughs> defending of the desperate variety and the shot That was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Portimonense take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Dinks one in. That's beautifully weighted. A big chance. Must be. He's gone for it. In it goes. And already they're looking to run away with it. 
Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Portimonense take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Battles to win it back. Pablo Sarabia, he's had a go! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the first 45 minutes are up. Reflections on the first half. Yeah, chins have dropped, heads are down, and half-time couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. He gets past his man, goes for goal! One through here. Oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. <laughs> Referee's given a throw. Time for a change in personnel. Gets into some space. Surely shapes to shoot! And in again. It's there! And they are dragging it back! Game on again! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Oh, that's great awareness. Full marks to him as he was just that bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. That's Pablo Sarabia. Going through. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Keeper's got good distance on that. Gets the better of his man. Big chance! Oh, that's a fine challenge. Portimonense certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Keeper sends it forward.
Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Sporting played a big part in it, but they walk away with nothing. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Sporting definitely struggled to get going. That was sensed by...